everybody lazy dimes garage here if you are doing a water pump on a 5.3 do not put thread locker on the fan please i just spent like the better part of an hour and i know you're not supposed to put heat on here but i had to put some heat on this i got i'm not doing a full water pump on this i am actually going to be redoing the seal on it i don't know the video any of the best but i shouldn't have to go in heat and everything else just to get this off i literally Took a hammer and chisel and my monkey wrench or pipe wrench and heated it intermittently with some PB blaster. Yeah, see, I should just be able to spin that and have that fucker come off. But I used this, a big hammer, heated it, hit it, still nothing, so busted up the chiseling. Hammered on one edge and popped out. But this is the new work truck 5.3. Just fine. Engine runs good, but I got to do a. Uh, I'm going to do the oil pump. I got that coming. 35 bucks on Rock Auto. But. That's the deal. Just got it. So, see how long this one lasts. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one. And this is a good indication of why you need to maintain your vehicle. You know, just say you do. These are the seals. All deformed, covered in rust. I mean, look at that. No wonder this had a coolant leak. And this one was completely torn and was right here. And you can tell rust got behind it. Like, switch hands here. And they were trying to put block sealer, radiator sealer through it. Like, holy shit. Look at all this shit. I know this is the water part of the water pump, but... It, like, come on, people. I mean, yeah, I get... I only paid a thousand bucks for the truck. But, I mean, if, you're, if it's something you're going to be driving, you want it to last you. I mean, take the time, go to the car wash, pressure wash underneath. I mean, this... I know people who had the mindset, well, I could just go buy a brand new vehicle. But not everybody has that luxury. And if you want the next person to have something that they can depend on, even though it's not going to last them very long, it's still the fact that it's like, what if it was you and you were in that situation? You want to be able to buy something, not worry about the engine blowing up or being stranded. Because who's to say that person doesn't have kids? Would you? Do you really want to leave them on the side of the road? I mean, if it's a transmission problem, that's understandable. I mean, transmissions go out, but you want to at least have the engine in good operating condition. 
like how hard is it to like loop your bearings and things like that I mean it's not go to Dollar General buy some PB blaster WD40 lube lube the bearings lube the ball I mean get some grease lube the bear, the ball joints tie rods things like that take the time show put some care in your vehicles I mean the market is such, at such a high rate right now that it's ridiculous take pride in your vehicle you want it to last you putting all this money I mean we sell ourselves by the hour to big companies and all I mean every time we buy something that's a fraction of our time that we just put out there to make that money so take time put some consideration in your vehicle you want that to last so you're not constantly buying another vehicle like i am i mean i don't have the greatest credit in history but still take time put some attention in everything you you're doing i know i'm rambling but it's just the point like guys like me are struggling and if you weren't someone that was had everything handed to you then turn around and do the same do the same thing put time in, in your vehicle and time in your home and your lives guarantee you'll come out better on top and you'll have more money because you're not forking it out all the time but peace out everybody have a good one